are rocking up in Belvoir very soon and then we'll get picked up by our accommodations in-laws. It's the town. I'm Melody and this is Michael. In 2019 we moved to London to teach and backpack across Europe. Flash forward to 2022 and we have finally made it back for our next adventure. So subscribe and let's get going. They brew here in Derby, so I bought the Boom and the Triple, uh, eight and seven percent respectively. So a fairly hefty beer. We'll give them a go later. They're probably cool enough to drink now, but uh, I'll wait till we get home. <laughs> we don't often do information about bridges, but when this is the fourth iteration of a bridge, then it's noteworthy. Uh, the first bridge was constructed in the 14th century. It was a wooden bridge, later replaced in the 1700s by a stone bridge, which was destroyed in the early 1900s and replaced. Uh, but in 1940, uh, with the advent of the Second World War, the Belgian army blew up that next bridge and it wasn't reconstructed until 1954. So uh, we'll give information about a bridge if there's been four or more bridges. This is the fourth. Uh, so this is the local beer I've already drunk most of it, but it's the uh, the dark beer. We'll have a little look. It's an easy drinking dark beer. Not completely dark. Between amber and dark. Seven percenter. They know how to brew them. This is uh, one of the other three De Bois local beers. I didn't get the blonde. I had a blonde the other day. Um, and I also had a beer the other day. No, I had a blonde the other day and I, I didn't really enjoy it. So uh, I did get the blonde, I got the brune and the triple. I got the triple. Uh, the triple looks like more of a lager. An 8% lager. Very heavy lager. Mm. Slight vibe of a wheat beer, but not a wheat beer. Very easy drinking lager. Scampi, this is prawns and garlic and uh, pork on a skewer and uh, some wine. <laughs> Burger full of pork, onion, and barbecue sauce. Very nice. Very good. Right away. Little one. There's Melody off to the bakery. There's Melody at the bakery. Hopefully, she's getting me something nice.
What are we doing? Ah, uh, we're walking up behind Derby. Slightly puffed, it's a big hill. <laughs> but there's heaps of people on the walk, so it must be pretty popular. And we can look down over the whole town now. We haven't walked very far. But yeah, we're probably not too far from the shop. And there's a house with a tower up here for some reason. We'll find out. <laughs> So it looks like it's actually a tourist attraction that you might be able to do in the summer, the Derby Panorama. So uh, you must be able to go up and then get a 360 degree view of uh, the town and the valley on the other side. But not today for us. I think we're about halfway along our walk. We've started to walk back down the hill. We're kind of just following people also on the same walk. Starting to rain, but it's, it's not raining too hard. Keep going. Found a pathway with a view. Mm -hmm. we'll Yay! <laughs> night in Derby so we are going to get some dinner at the Christmas markets. I have been wanting to try this for ages where they put the pasta in the cheese. I'm so excited. No pasta time. Uh, did someone get jealous? Yeah pretty much. I still get jealous but... Are you happy now? Mm-hmm. That's no pasta. <laughs> Morning. Morning. We just got dropped to the train station um, by the people who own our accommodation and the little shop underneath. They're so lovely. They organised both of our pickup and um, brought us back. And it was his parents who picked us up. His parents picked us up. So we just had the best day in um, Derby. We've got to start mm -hmm. calling it Derby. Oh, Derby. Um, <laughs> but we are just waiting for our train now, and we're heading to Amsterdam today. And then a couple of days time off to Scotland. Scotland, and we'll in a couple of days time we have our first flight since we got here, because um, we've done everything else by trains and buses. So that will be interesting. Um, actually, have to like pack to the airport. <laughs> I know, I know. I have to do a lightweight kit on the bag. That's it. But um, yeah, so excited to get to Amsterdam, and yeah, we'll see. We're actually stopping in Maastricht on the way. Um, I think that's how you say it, and um, we'll just go see their Christmas markets, have some lunch or something, and then hop back on the train just to delay our getting to Amsterdam a tiny bit till we can check in. So that's the plan. See how we go. 